Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Next week, you can use the moon to identify the brightest star of Leo the Lion and four wonderful planets. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. Next week, starting Tuesday the 13th, you'll be able to use an exquisite moon as a finder as it glides by Regulus, the great heart star of Leo the Lion, the Earth-sized planet Venus, the red planet Mars, which we're still visiting with robotic spacecraft, plus the most beautiful planet in the heavens, ringed Saturn. Let me show you. Okay, we've got our sky set up for next Tuesday, July 13th, about 45 minutes after sunset, facing west. But just above the horizon, you'll see an exquisite crescent moon, complete with Earthshine, which will look like a black-gray full moon nestled within the crescent. And if you have a really clear skies and a super flat cloudless horizon, you just may catch a glimpse of the smallest planet in our solar system, 3,000 mile wide Mercury. But it will be a real challenge and you'll probably need binoculars. You'll have to have an absolutely clear, flat, cloudless horizon to see it. But what you will see for sure, even if you don't see Mercury, will be the brightest star which marks the heart of the constellation, Leo the Lion. Its name is Regulus, and it looks like it's the point in a backward question mark of stars, followed by a triangle of stars. The triangle of stars marks Leo's rear. The backwards question mark or sickle shape marks Leo's four quarters. Be that as it may, once you found Regulus, only four degrees up to its left, which is eight full moon widths away because one half a degree is equal to one full moon, is the brightest planet of them all, super spectacular, often mistaken as a UFO, 8,000 mile wide, Earth-sized Venus. And if you draw a line from Mercury past Regulus and Venus and extend it, it will pass by the planet, which is only half the size of our Earth, rouge gold 4,000 mile wide Mars. And nine degrees above it, which is 18 full moon widths away, is my favorite planet of all, 75,000 mile wide ring Saturn, whose rings appear very skinny right now because they are tilted almost edge on to us. Wonderful, isn't it? Tiny Mercury, if you have a clear flat horizon, Leo's brightest star, Regulus, the brightest planet of them all, Venus, tiny rouge gold Mars, and super big Saturn, lined up in a row on what we call the ecliptic, the path of the planets. Even so, many people have a difficult time identifying heavenly objects without a guide. So here is where the moon comes in. On Wednesday the 14th, 45 minutes after sunset, a slender crescent moon will form an exquisite triangle with Venus and Regulus, which makes them both super easy to identify. 24 hours later, an even fatter crescent moon is just below rouge gold Mars. And on Friday, July 16th, the moon will be just off to the side of Saturn, 11 degrees away. Once again, start your watch Tuesday, July 13th, with the moon just above the horizon. Wednesday, the 14th, it makes a wonderful triangle with Regulus and Venus. On Thursday, it's down below Mars. And Friday, it hovers off to the side of Saturn. It's so simple to find the planets if you sometimes use the moon as your finder. So, have fun moon hopping and keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95.